Hello everyone, today I've got another Bikers in Trouble episode for you. It's good to learn from the mistakes of others, so check this out and ride safe. You okay? The reason for this crash was the front wheel fairing which got cut on the wheel and caused a slip. It's worth noting that everything could have ended without injuries if the biker had the proper gear. Look, I was right here. Hey, you need to look. This rider learned firsthand that almost anything can happen on the road. The speed wasn't high, so it all ended with just fright. In an intersection situation like this, stalling can save your life. People blow red lights all the time, and you really should give a green light an extra second anyways. But he finally gets the bike back started, and he's so focused and stressed out about the previous situation that just happened with the stall that he forgot what he was about to do, which was turn into this intersection. He's looking at the sign in front of him instead of looking in the direction that he wants to turn. He is, his heart's probably racing, his palms are sweaty, and he has just completely forgotten how to ride a bike because he's so embarrassed about what just happened in front of us, which honestly, we weren't judging him. You know, we're all talking in our comms back and forth between each other and nothing was said, you know, negative to him about it. It's just, hey, you stalled, get the bike back running, go on about your ride. But he is locked onto this sign instead of the direction he's supposed to go and just bumps right into it. He kicks it with his leg. Thankfully, nothing bad happened and he rode the rest of the ride completely fine. Without any signaling, the driver crosses several lanes at once, completely ignoring the rider who takes it calmly.
riding a group requires a lot of focus and maintaining a proper distance and these riders almost received a costly lesson. Completely incomprehensible behavior as the driver completely ignored the rider and decided to pass him very closely from the right. Here we have a very good example that lane splitting at such speed and in such heavy traffic is not the best idea. I think we got somebody down. Uh, yeah, I think someone's down. Hey, can you yell to them? I just forgot to say, but like, can you yell if they need a nurse? They can't hear us. I don't see anybody like on the ground. I know, but I also saw a bunch of. Jesus. That was his bike, he's up there. Hey, you don't need like a nurse or nothing, do you? Ah. I feel really bad. I know how it is going up the 
Yeah, I don't give know. Me your, give me your license, your registration, and your insurance. Yeah. I feel so bad because I wasn't expecting that to happen. Yeah. You shouldn't be taking pictures of that either. That's kind of. Oh, I'm not allowed to. You shouldn't. Well, I just want to see, like, I have an idea of everything that happened. But I, I, could, I didn't really get a chance, a chance to take pictures of it in the vehicle. Well, don't you do that. Give me your license, your registration, and your insurance. So for the last month or two, we've been doing something a little not so fun, as you can see on the screen. Um, two months ago, my girlfriend had a dog run out on her. Luckily, she was all right. Not too serious. Her arm was a little banged up, and that was about it. We picked up the bike and started trying to get a load up and headed to the house so we could start diagnosing it and figuring out all what really happened to it. <laughs> you got a point.